So it's a beautiful day in Halifax, running about 14 degrees Celsius, and a nice spring day. Decided to go for a hike, but it's an extra special day for me today because I have my older daughter Megan with me. Hi. So we're going to go out into the Blue Mountain Birch Cove Wilderness Lakes area, and we're going to take a hike up to Fox Lake Lookoff and then have a cup of coffee. And we've been up there a few times before, but uh, this time of year, hopefully there's some new growth coming out of, the, out of the forest floor that we'll be able to show you. If you're interested, follow along. <laughs> I don't know if I can zoom in on them or not. Where are they? Way up there. Oh yeah, I see them. Right there. Yeah. So Megan and I are walking along and we're talking and we're looking at some of the plants. I'm pointing out to her and she knows a lot of them, of course, herself. But uh, I thought I should be turning the camera on and sharing this with you. So here's a nice example of a red belted polypore, small one, growing on this downed, uh, yeah, it does look like a spruce tree, could be a pine tree, I think it's a spruce tree though, it is a spruce tree, sorry, and uh, yeah, so it's a nice little medicinal mushroom, I've got quite a collection of them already, I won't add this one to it, but as we go along, we'll see what we can find and I'll point them out. This one's a nice kind of a uh, fine. It's not, I don't think it's this year's Labrador tea. Let's see. Now it's last year's Labrador tea, but it still makes a good cup of tea. I'll take a few sprigs of that without taking too much. And right here is another one. And this one is a medicinal. It's known as gold thread. If I can get down, you'll see why. Let's see if I can pull it up. I think you can start to see it. See the root? has a golden root. What colors that root is known as berberine. It has been used for a lot of things traditionally, cankers or sores of the mouth. But there's also some research to support now that it works as a anti-cancer compound in it. Bitter though. <laughs> this is bitter. I've made some tea with it and it is bitter. I think the best way to do it is with an alcohol extract. Right, let's see what else we can find. So Megan and I have arrived at the Fox Lake Lookoff. And I've got the camera pointing north right now because the wind has shifted to come out of the south. So as I turn south towards the lake, it's uh, wind noise is going to override my voice, but just wanted to be able to show you this. It's always worth coming up here to see. Right down there, Megan and I are going to go down and sit down on the rocks and have uh, some coffee. So we'll see you there. So when we first arrived, we went up to the Fox Lake Lookoff, and that's it up there. See if I can get a little closer. And we looked down over the lake to a spot that we're sitting at now. So Canada Goose was sitting on the far side of the lake, and uh, we sat down to prepare a cup of coffee. And he's decided to come over and investigate. I don't know if he has a nest over there. I don't think this would be nesting territory for him, but uh, I have had experience with Canada Goose before. They can be a very aggressive, where'd he go? Very aggressive animal when they want to be. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Ah, he's just gonna keep an eye on us from a distance. If I start heading over to where he is, he'll probably uh, get up and start to chase me. But nice to see. 
Right, Megan and I have stopped beside the lake. I'll show you the lake in a second. And I just wanted to show you a quick setup. We decided to make a cup of coffee. We already had a granola bar or a uh, cliff bar each. So today, very super simple. If you can see inside there, we have uh, my Firebox Nano, Tranja knockoff. And I'm using my Camel 1.2 liter pot. It's a great size for one and even two people, especially for making coffee. So that's what I'm using, a little windscreen around it. Bit of a breeze down here by the lake, which is, un, you know, expected, I guess. And we're going to be doing pour over coffee. So we each have one of, where's Megan? Megan's, Hi. there's Megan's. <laughs> we each have one of the Durston Lore 12 wooden cooks's and we're going to do a simple pour over. And then we're just going to sit back and enjoy the sunshine. It's uh, gotten to a point where it doesn't want to drain anymore. So supposedly, the correct way to hold a cooksa, at least the way these ones are designed, is like that. That's a little bit hot. You, I find it awkward to hold it like that, but it's okay. up to you. Oh, geez. Thank you. I don't think it matters, but hold it whatever way you want. I'll get mine ready. Cheers. This is like perfect. It's got to be warmer than 14. It's got to be a little closer to 18, 20. Mm, in the sun. In the sun, yeah. And no wind. No. <laughs> it's the water still cool though. So in a recent video I released, I did a review of the Helicon Tex Matilda Bushcraft Backpack, the one that was a modern interpretation of the Alice Pack. And I mentioned I had two more packs or two more items from Helicon Tex that I was testing for review. And this is one of them. This is the Bushcraft Satchel. And I have to tell you so far, I am loving this. Uh, you can see the little Bushcraft symbol on the side of the bag. Uh, not a review. I just wanted to show you what I was carrying today. This thing is huge at 17 liters It can carry a lot of stuff. Actually, it's it's tempting to put too much stuff in this I've learned so anyway I just sh thought I'd show you that very quickly and when I get some more time with it I'll give you my opinions on it. So I was hoping to see this and it's late in the day for us We're on our way back, but I was hoping to find this and be able to show it to you and This is still just opening, but this is the Mayflower and the Mayflower is Nova Scotia's official flower. So there's what our Mayflower looks like. And some yet to be open here. The leaves are a little dry. This is kind of a dry spot, but you can see some here that aren't open. All through here. Very ephemeral. Won't last too long, so it's nice to see them while they're still in bloom. Well, as I said when we first started the video today, this is very special for me because Megan is taking a new job out of province and will be leaving in a couple of days' time, so I won't see her until Christmas time, I hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Christmas uh, time. Christmas time. That'd be great. Okay. So, yeah, it's always nice to spend as much time with your kids as you can. So it's been a great day. It was actually warmer than I expected it to be. It nice, yeah. yeah. Beautiful day. Yeah. Almost tempting to go swimming down by the lake. <laughs> Not that warm. Not but... that warm, no. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was just simply follow us along, hopefully show you a few plants that are just beginning to emerge from the ground. But the, as the spring goes on, there'll be a lot more plants I'll be able to share with you, a lot more edibles, medicinals, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find more things to show you in future hikes. But until then, remember, get out and explore, and take that path less traveled. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>